All right, what's up everybody? Right next to me is the 2023 Acura TLX Type S, and this is an interesting sports sedan. Let me show you. All right, before we get started with today's video, I'd like to give a special shout out to Acura Vandegrift here in Arlington, Texas for allowing me to review this TLX Type S. If you're interested in any new Acura, please give them a call and the contact information will be down below. Now, back to the video. All right, so we can actually start under the hood of the TLX Type S, and this is where it gets interesting. But before we talk about the engine, let's talk about the name, Type S. All right, so Acura has been using the Type S name for decades now to represent the top of the line performance ever. And they bought it back for 2021, starting with this, the TLX Type S. All right, so you actually get one engine option for the TLX Type S, and that's a three and a half liter V6, making 355 horsepower and 354 pound-feet of torque. Now, fortunately, I can't turn it on, but I will play a clip for you of how it sounds. Take a listen. Like I mentioned before, it sounds amazing, and you can only get this in a 10-speed automatic, no manual. And unfortunately, there's no higher version of this TLX Type S. There's only just the Type S, and that's it. All right, next up, we actually gonna talk about the design of the TLX Type S, which I love. You got this aggressive front end, you know, aggressive LED lights, dual LED lights right here. You got an aggressive rear in the back. Uh, you got some vents right here. You got an intercooler right there. Basically overall, this whole front end is just very nice, very elegant. It has the same design as the concept that was showing a few years ago. Take a look. All right, so the next thing we talk about is the wheels and brakes. You get four piston bimbo brakes in the front and 20 inch wheels all around. And you also get Acura Super Handling All Wheel Drive or SH, SH All Wheel Drive like that to give you the best possible handling and traction around corners. All right, now moving on to the back of the TLX Type S, you got your chrome exhaust right here, which are actually huge. You got dual exhaust, well not dual, actually quad, I mean. You got quad exhaust right here, you got your TLX Type badge right here, SH all-wheel drive right here, super handling. Um, you got your Type S badge right here, you got your black spoiler right here, which is actually very nice, and let me show you the trunk. All right, so to open the trunk of the TLX Type S, you actually hit this button right here, or you can use the key fob and it would just open right up to reveal quite, you know, decent amount of space. You know, basically, this is just a, basically a sedan, basically, so. All right, now, moving in the back of the TLX Type S, the first thing I actually want to talk about is this key. Now, the key is actually pretty nice. You know, it's very Honda and Acura key because they share a key, so there is that. Also, uh, the difference with this is that you got the Type S, Type S badge, I mean, Type S badge right here. It's actually pretty neat, pretty cool. No, nice good looking key. Um, other than that, you got you know you got two air vents right here, you know, a map pocket, you got planar room, um, decent amount of headroom, I would say. But yeah, overall this is actually a pretty nice cabin. There is no USB C or USB ports back here, which is kind of disappointing. Cause the price of this is actually quite insane, actually, which I will talk about in a second. All right, now moving into the front of the TLX Type S, the first thing I actually want to talk about is the gear selector. So to get it in gear, you can push this button right here to put it in a park, to put it in reverse, you just pull back right there. Uh, in neutral, you push the button, you put it in drive right there. If you also want to put it in manual mode, you push the D again, and it, it will put you in manual mode. Next thing I actually want to talk about is the drive mode selector or dynamic mode as Acura calls it. So to put it in whatever mode you want to, you can twist it left or right to put it in whatever mode you want. If you push the Acura logo on the dynamic mode, you can put it in individual mode, which you can set whatever uh, drive modes you want. So if you want the steering wheel to be tight, you can do that. If you want the suspension to be loose, you can do that. If you want the transmission to be uh, responsive or just smooth, you can also do that. So you can just adjust whatever drive modes uh, you want for each section of the car as well. Another thing I actually want to talk about is the volume knob. So the volume knob is actually right here. So it's right next to this touchpad right here. There's also that as well. You got your skip buttons right here below it. You got, you got your wireless charging pad right here to charge your phone. 
you got a pad right here for your wrist to move to i mean rest on this right here so you can control the uh, touch pad for the screen because the screen is actually not touch screen unfortunately but it's actually kind of fortunate because it is far back so there's that uh, got some old school gauges right here there's no digital gauge option as well so that is kind of a disappointment but there is a refresh version coming so it might up update the gauges and all that so there's that um the seats the seats are actually quite comfortable actually um not much bolstering though but um uh, it's quite good actually so i will say that you also got this flat bottom steering wheel the yeah flat bottom steering wheel you got a nice texture materials on the sides uh they kind of like this golf ball material which is kind of good um and not Alcantara. I don't think you get Alcantara as an option, but if you could, I wouldn't get it because, you know, you it will wear out over time due to sweaty hands and all that. So there is that. You got your Type S, uh, type S badge on the steering wheel. Um, the uh, Sino screen um, is fine, but it is kind of confusing because it is frustrating because if you want to choose what, but it, uh, what whatever you want to choose, you have to choose it on the touchpad wherever it's located. So if you want to go to navigation, you have to tap the edge of the touchpad to go to navigation. If you want to use phone, you have to angle your finger where the phone is at. So like if you want to use phone, you got to tap it where it's located on the touchpad and the screen, if that makes sense. But if that doesn't make sense, let me show you. All right, one more thing I forgot to show you is uh, well, actually two things. So you got your area lighting right here, which you, I believe you could change as well. I believe so. But actually, I really want to talk about is the price of this. So this is actually a 2023 TLX Type S. It is new. Uh, you get 21 uh, combined. You got 19 in the city, 24 on the highway. But I actually want to talk about the price. So the price of this, total price of this is $58,345 which uh, I'm gonna let y'all judge on that. But yeah, I'm gonna let y'all judge uh, the price on that. And another thing, this paint, this is a Apex blue paint. It's actually really a nice paint. I, I forgot to mention earlier, but it's a so, like so nice paint that it costs $600, which if I were to get this car, I actually would get it in this color with some, you know, white accent seats and all that, but yeah. This, the color is Apex Blue and it costs $600, which I think is a nice price for this color because it's a very nice color and you really don't see many of it. So if I was you, I would get this color in the blue, but that's just me personally. And so that is my review of the TLX Type S. If you're actually interested in this vehicle, it will still be here, hopefully. Uh, by the time this video goes up, it probably will still be here. But yeah, if you're interested in this vehicle, be sure to hit up Acura Vandegrift here in Arlington, Texas. Peace.